I am Jacques Herzog, my, uh, I'm, I'm an architect, um, having been working in London for quite a while, you know, been lucky to work on the Tate and for this reason we were not qualifying to do a pavilion here, which was always making us very jealous, because we think it's a great uh, thing, this uh, format. And um, when we have been asked by Julia and Hans Ulrich to design it together with Ai Weiwei, that was a um, pleasure in many ways. First of all, because um, we could finally do this and uh, it would give us a new opportunity to work again with Ai Weiwei. And, um, but at the same time, because it has had all these other pavilions in the past, we knew that um, we didn't want to do something that has been done before um, in other objects, because so many great objects have been done by all these um, architects in the past. And, and uh, so to do something which is rather a piece of landscape or covered landscape is, uh, was a, an immediate first idea. And um, to go underground for this reason, and um, that was very fast. And the cover that you see here is um, more like a mirror that deals with uh, the fact that we love the sky in London, which is very lively and uh, involves the light of the sky, of the cloud, moving clouds, the trees and reflects all this is a part of the landscape and somehow also we knew that if we dig in the ground we would find groundwater and uh, to reveal things that are not visible is like uh, was like a, a leading kind of um, leading uh, energy for us We then knew that um, we couldn't go much deeper than 1.5 meters before we would find groundwater. Now there is no groundwater, so the groundwater sometimes even sinks further down, but the groundwater level is relatively high. That's also why we like this idea of the cover of this mirror to sort of ex ex uh, expose that or show it to the people and to have the cover very, very low above the grass so that even children could could see it could and would not be feel obstructed by the object in the park and the groundwater that is the one thing that we went down to find so so the digging out was in a process of exploring what what we find we knew that there was a telephone cable which runs through there and you know in the course of the project working together with Weiwei and Pierre, we said, okay, I mean, we go down and, well, there, there is, it's not an innocent ground. We have a lot of things and all these traces of the past, which are physically there as a kind of, in the form of refills, but they are there. So we, let, we said to ourselves, let's use that fact, that historical fact and reconstruct it. And so we reconstructed it virtually and then built models and said we could use all this as a landscape um, for people to sit, to hang around, to stand, to be in small groups and larger groups, like an auditorium. And um, <clears throat> so step by step the design came together. And uh, materializing it was another, I think, very interesting moment when we found that cork would be a very interesting material for the fact that it's so wonderful to touch and feels warm and like earth so it has this mystery also to it that nobody really knows actually very few know where it comes from how it is produced it's naturally produced and um, makes it a, a very wonderful option and, um, and also something that probably we could not have done at such a scale in a normal project so the fact that it is a temporary structure, you know, is reflected in that use of material as well. And seeing it finished now, is there anything that surprises you about it? Anything that delights you more than you expected? I, honestly, I think I start to discover it. I, um, 
when you see something as an architect for the first time, uh, you're very um, ambiguous about it because you see the flaws, you have a history for this thing, whereas other people um, just take it as it is, you know. And now I discover slowly um, the project and uh, because I have seen it in such another reality for such a long time as a model, as a drawing, as just an idea. And um, I really wonder how it will be used by the people and I, I think it was pretty successful this morning with the press people which is quite a crowd and it felt interesting. Also acoustically it was um, working well, you feel like more protected spatially but also the noise of the street seems strangely remote. Interesting. I, th I think it's good but I, I think it's not my role to qualify it. I think I'm, it should be like Ideally, all the projects we work um, on something where people, you know, have like a, find a, a richness in uh, discovering things that we were not thinking of, rather than we kind of steering this way of perceiving something that we have done.